I'm here to explain to you some legal basics around anonymization and pseudonymization under the very new GDPR, so General Data Protection Regulation. So I will start um, with anonymization and then turn to pseudonymization and then to the relationship between both. So coming to my very first basic questions, why should a researcher at all anonymize research data? The main reason is quite simple. Let's get rid of any data protection constraints. That would be nice. So as you might know, um, the processing of personal data needs a legal ground, since any processing without consent or legal allowance um, is generally forbidden. That's explicitly stated in Article 6 and 9 of the GDPR. So what is the escape to this? Uh, the escape is laid down in Recital 26, that you can see on the screen now. Um, this recital is saying the principles of data protection should not apply to anonymous information. That's a very important statement. So as soon as you have anonymized data, you are not bound especially to the requirement to have a, a legal ground such as consent. No. Um, so as soon as you have anonymized your research data, you do not have to show that you are acting on consent or another legal, special legal allowance. Um, so that's that. It's certainly the main reason to anonymize, but on the other hand, the GDPR um, itself um, stipulates a so-called data minimization principle, um, and to comply with that anonymization is normally recommended as soon as it can be done without uh, endangering the research purpose. Um, that would be the second reason to anonymize research data. 